All right, guys, so I want to go through a bunch of different things within this video. The general theme of the video is the IW developers versus everyone else, their encounters with Ninja versus their encounters with fans or other YouTubers or other people just speaking their opinions on this game. Also, the gunfight situation, it being removed and what the actual plan is with that. And I want to clarify a bunch of things here. And I like to think my job is to be as objective as possible. And then obviously, I have my own opinions and I'll give you guys my opinions and I'll tell you whether or not what I'm saying is an opinion or if I'm just reading from the tweets and you guys, you guys are going to see what we're going through here. So I'll explain the situation first. We'll talk about what's going on and then I'll give you guys my opinion on if this is right. If IW is just listening to Ninja because he's the biggest streamer, biggest gamer. And if it were anyone else that were saying this stuff about gunfight, I mean, Ninja pretty much said that the gunfight OSP mode was straight trash. And if that was anyone else saying that, would the IW developers would have just blocked them and not care so I don't know we're gonna go through that in this video let's start off here with ninjas first tweet I feel like gunfight was one of the best game modes to grace FPS in the last decade it's really unfortunate that Activision is making so many ridiculous unnecessary changes to the game mode some in response to him saying original gunfight was one of the most fun I've had playing COD for a long time this got a lot of likes and David over at IW responds normal gunfight will be back soon but I'll use this as an ammunition to keep it around for the next time we run a limited time mode variation of it and ninja responds with i love you so someone's responding as well can you tell him to add dead silence as a perk and put mw3 maps in and this tweet got almost a thousand likes so a lot of people agree with this here but the point of this tweet was to pretty much say like oh you're just gonna listen to ninja or whatever he says so let's tell ninja to add all the stuff like you know adding the minimap back like the overhaul stuff adding dead silence as a perk putting old mw3 maps in and maybe they'll listen only because ninja is saying that now i do have to disagree someone else is saying here dude it takes ninja to say something but david responds the schedule was already in place to put it back a set time after osp went in trust me i prefer normal myself and there's also redacted coming up soon and then ninja again responds i'm so in love with the game mode so to see it completely removed with just a shell of its original version i was mega sad and mad david again responds i feel you junior baker chi and i created it back in august 2017 and had to wait years to show it. I still play it daily. We try to keep our front page featured modes tight, so sometimes sacrifices are made, but I'll try my best to keep the normal mode up always. Now, this is a situation here where I'm gonna have to side with the IW developer just because of the fact that they weren't just listening to Ninja and saying, hey, Ninja, you we heard you want gunfight back, so we're gonna bring gunfight back. You know, it was already in their plans, and there are other outlets, other leaguers that know the cycle of how the game are added and they've said already oh this is just something they want to promote osp they want people to play that variation as well and normal gunfight and david said in his first tweet to ninja normal gunfight is going to be back soon so i have to disagree with the people saying like oh you're just listening to ninja but i do think there is a weird situation where we're going to go through ninja roasting them and i feel like there definitely is a different sentiment that the iw developers have if someone like Ninja said, I don't like gunfight, I don't like this OSP version of gunfight, I want normal gunfight, these IW developers, at least in my opinion, now this is my opinion, would probably react differently if it was one of us saying that, or if it was maybe a different, less known YouTuber. I mean, Ninja is the most famous pretty much gamer streamer right now maybe not by numbers anymore but if ninja is playing your game you're interested and that's obviously why all of the developers were responding to that tweet now before we go through ninja roasting them and it's pretty funny what goes on there let's go through another example at least the flip side of this where korean savage was actually blocked as you see here on screen by joe seacott but let's figure out why and see if this is sort of comparable to the flip side of if this was ninja saying something to the IW developers. Now, Pomage responds, uh, you know, what did you do, LMAO? And he responds, leaderboards didn't come out till February, and I wasn't having it. Now, this was something that, you know, he talked about in another game. So, obviously, Joe Seacott's been around for a while, and leaderboards not coming out till February, I'm guessing, was Infinite Warfare or something like that, the last game that he worked on. And, you know, Maddie's responding, I remember this. K tweeted at Joe daily until the block. Now, you know, he responds, LOL, I just wanted leaderboards. Here's the thing. This happened really recently so it's a bit weird it's i guess it's some sort of built up not anger that joe c cut as but
but if a Korean Savage was constantly tweeting at Joe Seacott, I don't know, maybe he saw that as harassment, maybe he just saw it as annoying, and he decided to block him. So for anyone using this example as to how, oh, you know, the IW devs are just blocking people for no reason, I guess there may have been some sort of reason here. It's funny that he's blocking him now, you know, way after all of this happened, but it seems like from what, you know, I've been seeing at least, Joe Seacott and a bunch of the other developers have been blocking a bunch of different people. It seems like every time I'm on Twitter, I see a new person blocked by one of these developers, whether it's, you know, Joe Seacott or David or, you know, Ashton, which is, you know, community manager or something like that. And, you know, sometimes it's for a good reason. Sometimes it's because people are harassing them. But I feel like a lot of the times it's just for, you know, demands and people saying like, oh, we want this feature. We want the overhaul. We want the minimap. And maybe it's just getting annoying to them, but maybe they should just sort of listen and not block them and just either ignore it or give constructive criticism or feedback or some reasoning as to why they have certain features in the game. I'm not so sure. So again, that's just my opinion, but let's go through some more information here. I still want to show you guys this, but Birdman tweeted out, COD players, your game sucks. Devs, any rude comments will get you blocked. Ninja, your game sucks. And then the devs just make that. And we'll go through here what he means by this because it's pretty funny. And then obviously, uh, Burman's clowning on David for saying this. We made it Twitter responding to Ninja saying, I love you. So it's basically, Burman's pretty much saying like, oh, these IW developers are just in awe over Ninja responding to them and talking about them and just pretty much them having this idea like, oh, Ninja, I can't believe you're talking to us. Wow, Ninja, we love you so much. Uh, so that's the theme that, you know, he's portraying there. But let's go through and see if this is really accurate. So next tweet here. This is where Ninja is roasting IW. And this is what a lot of people are clowning on the IW developers for and not really responding to Ninja. We're not giving the same response that they would give to someone else if they were roasting their game mode. So David says, OSP will return at some point. That's the gunfight variant, obviously, as it's a variant limited time mode. And Ninja just straight up responds. He hasn't deleted this tweet too. I guess he doesn't really care. Feel free to let it die in a burning fire with no backups of the files. I mean, Ninja does not care. Obviously, Ninja has no stake in Call of Duty. He doesn't care if he's ever invited out. I mean, he's the one of the biggest streamers out there, the biggest, you know, video game sort of icons, I guess I could say. So he doesn't really care. And for him to say that's pretty crazy. But David responds, you know, with a little frowny face. It's my second baby. I prefer to play it in customs, though, as you can choose what spawns where. And then someone responds... Birdman, obviously, LMFAO, no way you let anyone else say that to you. And here's the situation where obviously I want to believe that this was just them responding to normal criticism and maybe because it's Ninja, they want to actually respond. So they're not always going to respond to every single fan that's saying, oh, you know, this game mode sucks or this and that we want this feature. But for Ninja to outright say that that game mode is trash and it should burn in a fire and you should, they should have no backups of the files, that at least in my opinion, would be something that if any of us said that to one of the IW devs, they'd probably block us. Like that's something that they would block us for. And because they've been blocking so many people for I feel like less things than what Ninja said there. And for them to obviously they're not gonna block Ninja because that would be pretty stupid of them. But like I said, if it's, you know, anyone else, they probably would block Ninja. They probably would block the person that said that, not Ninja, obviously. The person that would say something like, like Ninja said. So, you guys have to let me know what you think about this. I mean, obviously, I think that the IW developers are getting a fair amount of hate and they're being bombarded with tweets every day about people demanding certain features and there's a certain way you should actually go to these developers and you know suggest different features and there's a certain level of respect you have to have for them i mean they're working hard i think like they have good intentions for the game it's not like they're making this game and they're purposely developing stuff and they're just like we want to make the most you know the worst game possible we want people to be mad i don't think they want that they just have their own ideas of what they're doing and they don't mean to make people angry but sometimes that happens and it's not really their fault but on the flip side I do think there is a general sentiment that the IW developers are sort of just blocking people for no, not no reason, but they shouldn't be blocking. I mean, you're a public figure to some extent, and obviously people are going to be saying crazy stuff unless like they're giving you death threats or they're really 
threatening you and then you have to block them and they're really harassing you. But if they're saying, I mean, I've seen people blocked for just saying like, oh, this game mode sucks, change this, change that. Like, you know, it's the Call of Duty community. You know, people say that stuff. You can't just be blocking everyone. Now you have an example where Ninja says something that if it was someone else, you'd probably block them and you don't block them. Uh, obviously, I understand why you wouldn't block them because it's Ninja, but it's just a bad case here it's a bad look that you block everyone else but you don't block ninja for saying that so not that they block everyone but they've been blocking a lot more people than it really i've seen from any other developer um or at least any other team of call of duty developers and stuff so i don't really know what to make of this here it's not that big of a deal it just sucks that there's sort of this general divide that's growing between the fans and the developers and that sucks because iw you know, they've been, at least before the game came out, and even when the game launched, generally one of the best teams with communicating with fans. I mean, they were on the Modern Warfare Reddit the whole summer before Modern Warfare. They've been constantly talking to us, even since the game has been announced back in May of, you know, this year. They've been talking to us forever, so they've been pretty active with us. It's just like now there's this divide and I don't, you know, I don't know what to do here. Like, obviously, I don't have any true say. I don't have any true impact. And I understand both sides of the story. People want these changes. People want, you know, overhaul changes. So many YouTubers, even Korean Savage, all these main, you know, million subscriber YouTubers are saying they want these changes. And the developers, I don't know if they're just listening or if they just don't care or if they just want their own vision. They just don't like that people don't like their vision or they're being harassed i mean there's so many different possibilities that it sucks and hopefully it is resolved soon but you know blocking people i feel like isn't the best way to go about it unless they're harassing you unless they're really giving you death threats that's a reason to block someone i wouldn't want people giving me a death threat or actually cursing or saying bad stuff but if you're just you know if it's a cod fan talking about the game and they say some stupid stuff maybe or they're criticizing the game you can't be blocking them for that it's just a bad look so that's my consensus there obviously hopefully that made sense uh thank you guys for watching and uh let me know what you guys think down below see you guys later